Phantom Storm Chicken, what is up, my friend? Grifter in the house. Merry Christmas to the both of you. Hope you're both doing well. Thank you for being here today. Appreciate it. Uh, this was like an impromptu stream. Basically, I got home from work about um, an hour ago. As you can tell, I'm probably losing my voice a little bit. Uh, I'm still recovering. I apologize for the lack of streams. And I figured, you know what? Tonight, I actually have been had this weird impulse to play this game. I don't know where it came from, but I did. I just had this weird, crazy impulse to play Resident Evil Zero. My least favorite Resident Evil character of all time is in this game, Billy Cohen. And we're not even going to play Wesker mode. We're going to full-on play the regular mode with Billy Cohen in it. I feel like it's time me and Billy Cohen make amends. Uh, we stop hating each other and we become friends again. So uh, it is the, tis the season, right? So I figured uh, we'll probably just play this game until we beat it tonight. We're probably just going to hang out. I have a stack of Christmas presents here. Um, I'm not going to... Well, a stack. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm overselling it. Uh, there is a couple things here that I got from friends. And uh, some of them, are, they weren't wrapped or they were already open. Uh, and then a couple of them were gifts. And then some are still wrapped. So I figured we'll just hang out, talk. And then uh, occasionally I might... Um, you know, pick up a present and like look at it or something. Uh, yeah, so I know you guys won't be able to see it too well because you know the camera, but I'll try to hold it up to the camera for you. And I have my other camera over here charging, set up, ready to record, hanging on top of my TV so I can get a, sec a second angle and maybe I'll turn that on and record me opening the presents in front of the camera uh, and then we can edit that in later or something. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I just wanted to try something different. And really, I just wanted to play this game and see if any of y'all were around to like hang out with because I was going to do this tomorrow morning, but I am going to medicate the crap out of myself. And my plan is just to sleep all day tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I don't want to do anything. I want to sleep. That's all I want to do. So I think that's my plan for tomorrow. So I figured let's get the stream on tonight and let's do it this way. Dude, what? For six months in a row, Grifter1337, subscribe for $24.99. Dude, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. We're still using the new controller that Grifter sent us, by the way. Who He donated this to the channel when the other one started to go whack on us. So thank you, Grifter, for this. This is why we're playing games tonight, pretty much, uh, and why we were able to play the Destiny DLC and, and the Res Evil DLC. So thank you very much, my friend. Um, and Merry Christmas to you, too. I really appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Uh, and uh, real true stoner what is up dude sorry I, I sorry I missed you you and phantom were the same color um, so I, I just I'm, I'm driven very much by color uh, on uh, chat in chat rooms like uh, I'm very racist that way <laughs> it's like what two purple people um, so yes yeah, sorry I missed your uh, your comment what's up true stoner phantom grifter thank you for being here let's crack this open um I'm sure I could load a new game. I'm sure we have a, like a cleared game, so we could probably start at the beginning. Some of these are so there's Wesker mode, and there's Billy. Look at all these. Look how many times we beat this game. Holy cow! Um, awesome. So we're, like I said, we're not going to do Wesker mode. I, I that's a lot of fun to do Wesker mode, but we've already done that on this channel, and uh, I think I'm just going to rock Billy mode. I get. Oh god, I hate Billy Cohen so much. Um, but yeah, for you guys, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, let's do the... What's extra game? Oh, no, I know what that is. That's... Do I? I don't know. Let's do once again. So I'm not going to go too much into the, into the lore of this game. I'll let the narrators take care of that. solitary island far off in the sea. Rock Fort Island. Soon. An island that would become the Present. second raccoon city. See what presents we got. Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the international enterprise umbrella actually caught one of John's streams last week. Oh, awesome! She's a very awesome person. Well, if she, we're gonna wait to see if she pops in here. Because if she does, I have a gift from her that I want to share with you guys. She sent me a present, and, and it's freaking awesome. Um, I think it's homemade, which makes it even cooler. So um, we we'll wait for that. Deeper into the events um. which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Yep. 
don't get I, the main reason I don't like talking about the lore of this game because it it just it, it, so it, the continuity yeah. problems it it brings it just upsets me. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start the camera here. First thing I'm gonna show you guys actually something that. Yeah, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is actually something that LEGO got me. Uh, every year, LEGO makes a, a, an exclusive LEGO set just for their employees. And this year, it's actually this giant nutcracker uh, made from LEGO Technic pieces. It is uh, Technic's 40th anniversary this year. And uh, so they did this really cool LEGO Technic um, nutcracker. And he's in this coffin. Oh, it's taped too. Let me... Um, I'm gonna just open it up, see if we can get a look at it. Uh, on the back, it talks a little bit about the history of Technic and how it launched 40 years ago. And uh, is he built already? No, he's not built. Look at this, this thing's beautiful. Um, I'll show this camera too. I got two cameras going here. Uh, there's like this little booklet, the instruction booklet, which is awesome. Um, and this giant, that's what he looks like. Never stood a Pretty dope. Yeah, it's sweet, right? Um, so every year they give us something like this. And uh, it's always something really unique, really different. And just something they never sell. Like, you know, you can only get this if you're a Lego employee. Um, so that's dope. Uh, when I saw that, when they gave that to me at work uh, two days ago, I flipped a lid. I was like, man, that thing looks really cool. I don't build a ton of Technic stuff. I do have a couple Technic pieces, but um, I just... I love that thing. That thing is awesome. So that's present number one tonight. Uh, actually came from my employer. So thank you, Lego. Uh, the, this this dude is awesome. I think when you like put a you could put a nut like in his mouth. I know, easy. PG PG. Keep it PG. Um, you he like you pull the lever on the back and he actually makes a face like his arms go up and he goes like trying to crack the nut. So that's pretty awesome. Um, at some point down the road, I'll make a video for it, and you guys can see what it looks like when it's built. But, yeah, that thing's awesome. Dude, that is so cool. I agree, Phantom. I agree. Um, how are you enjoying the nice, quiet house? Oh, my God, dude. I'm loving it here. Um, I love Kevin to pieces. But it's nice not hearing the TV, um, hearing the news, <laughs> hearing, um, you know, like, the sounds that Nintendo video games make. Um, you don't think about... I, it's not like it's a pet peeve of mine. It's not like I hate it either. It's just it's just nice not to have it. Um, this is a pretty loud apartment, I would say. Even for with someone with one ear that he can hear out of, I, I feel like <laughs> sometimes I fight for for quiet because um, because I I do, when I shoot my videos, I don't like like my phone isn't like I don't have a great like it's, that's why I stopped using the mic because uh, I used to have a mic like a really nice mic it's still hooked up to my my, my computer but using that like it picked up everything it, it would pick up him watching TV out there and he and he watches TV and he listens to it pretty loud and stuff and plus not even too loud it's not even like he's blasting it it's just that the TV's right on the other side of this wall right behind me so that mic picked up everything and I was like all right I gotta I gotta just go with the phone um, and just use the phone's mic, you know, and that only picks up me, thank goodness. So that's kind of the compromise that I've came with myself. But, um, but no, yeah, I'm, 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 I like actually like having a, a sweet, uh, like a nice quiet place. Uh, unfortunately it hasn't helped me sleep at all though. So noise has never, I can sleep through noise, uh, typically cause I can always roll on this ear and everything just sounds muffled. Um, so we have infinite ammo, so we can leave this, and we can leave this. We gotta figure out the buttons. Oh, that runs, okay. Cool. Yeah, I keep forgetting, this This game has slightly different buttons than the average Resident Evil game. Um, or at least the Resident Evil remake, I think. Uh, back when I had roommates, I lived with headphones on. I, I hear ya. Um... You know what? I'll show you guys these real quick because uh, I'm not going to open these. I'll probably save these for another video. Um, I don't collect Transformers that much anymore. Uh, I, I want to. I would love to buy all the Transformers in the world uh, just because of money. I can't. But I actually have a friend who, who hooked me up with a couple and I had a couple gift cards that I used to buy some of these. So uh, this one I bought with a gift card, Dinobot Slash. So they re-released the Dinobots in their G1 colors and uh, I picked up Slash. He was like 10 bucks. Um... 
Wait, hold on. We gotta. There we go. I was like, oh wait, nothing's working. Uh, so Dinobot Slash, he was ten bucks. Um, here, I'm gonna turn on the other camera. Um, so yeah, uh, ten dollars for Dinobot Slash. I used a gift card on him. Um, this I actually paid for out of my own pocket, which is Jazz. Uh, I'm a big fan of Jazz from Transformers. So when I saw this, it was kind of an impulse buy. Um, he's he's really awesome. Like I said. I, if I could, I, I would buy every Transformer toy that comes out if I could afford it. Um, and I would just have a room full of Transformers versus my Lego sets. Uh, and these are two that I, a friend gave me as a gift. And then I was like, oh, I'll pay you back. And I ended up paying him back. But then, like, f got that money from uh, my mom, of all people. She was like, hey, uh, what'd you do? Like, did you buy yourself anything for Christmas? I'm like, no, you bought me the big, like, you know, Joker Manor thing that I have built back there, like the big $100 plus set, uh, $150 or whatever that I spent for it. I go, so it's, um, you know, I, I, I'm good. I'm, I'm fine. She's like, nah, take a few more dollars. So she put some money in my account to pay me back for these, which is super dope. So I have a uh, slug here from the Dinobots and swoop from the Dinobots. So now I have, um, all of them except Grimlock. And uh, I think the other one is, uh, uh, I can't remember, the Brontosaurus. Uh, I can't, I'm blanking on his name. Maybe someone in the chat can uh, touch up my stupid, uh, my, my lack of uh, Transformer knowledge right now. I'm totally letting you Transformer fans down. Um, hopefully the construction next door is finished. Uh, oh, wow. Was Kevin talking about that on the podcast? Um, yeah, there was crazy, crazy... Um, construction they were like drilling into the ground there was like a pipe that busted in the um washer and dryer room like uh which is like two doors down from kevin's room out in the hallway and it was just and then they uh, and then like three in the morning i was up the whole time i never went to bed that night they moved over here and started drilling right outside kevin's window and uh and which is the window next to mine so i could hear it too but i'm sure for kevin who has both ears <laughs> was not happy that night so yeah um, but yeah, those are my Transformers. So uh, I'm really digging digging these four. I'll add them to my collection. Uh, at some point, I'm going to look for Grimlock, Optimus Prime, Starscream, and Hot Rod. Those are the other four that I really like in the set. Uh, and then after that, I'm probably going to go back to stop collecting them for a while because I'll be dead broke after that. All right. Hey, Draco. Draco, what is up, dude? Merry Christmas. How are you, sir? Welcome, welcome. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, he said a water pipe busted. Yeah, yeah, I think it was in the wash and dryer room. Um, the laundry mat, I guess I could call it the laundry mat if I really want to be accurate about it. Yeah, infinite magnum. Yes, please. Nope. I want the other thing. No! I want the other thing! Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm doing good. How about you? Hey, man, I'm hanging in there, dude. Feeling, I'm feeling better today, but I know that tomorrow I'm just going to use my, my whole time to sleep. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Hey, look, a file. You know what? I probably should not um, even pick up files because this is... I wouldn't say this is a speed run, but we're just going to... We're not going to, like I said, dive too much into the lore of things. Uh, haha, I'm wearing my Goonie shirt right now, Grifter says. Nice, dude. I love that movie. I love Sloth. Um, he's super dope. And he's got the suspenders with the Superman S on him, so that's pretty cool. Billy. Um, I didn't turn on my other camera for that one, but that's okay. I'll I'll turn it on for this. How about this? Um, all right. So we'll. I'll show off these real quick too. Uh, these are new Lego Batman sets that come out like uh, that came out this week. Uh, Lego Batman Doom Buggy, which has like uh, Captain Boomerang and Batman in it. Uh, Lobo versus Superman. So this is Lobo and uh, versus Superman and Crypto the Dog. So that's pretty cool. Um, this I actually paid nothing for. I, I have store credit at Lego, and uh, 
and I was able to get that for free, which was super dope. Edward. And uh, with my employee discount, I was able to pick up these for really cheap. And these were like, my mom wanted to add more gifts to me for Christmas. I'm like, you don't have to. She's like, I'll pay you back like next Friday. You buy them now, I'll give you the money next Friday. So I'm like, okay, mom, fine. So I got Egghead, the Egghead mech with Captain, uh, with a Condiment King and Egghead. And then also got the Justice League Anniversary Party. Um, with uh, Superman, El Dorado, Hawkgirl, uh, Green Arrow, and Wonder Dog. So, yeah, just, <laughs> just a lot of fun stuff um, that I got for really dirt cheap, and, and some of them for free. But, uh, they, again, they were gifts uh, as well. Oh. We get them? We got them both. Speaking of dogs, um, mine is drinking right now. Drinking a ton of water. All right, Echo. Cool it. Um, so, yeah. Well, Jomley's not here, but I, I do want to show off what she she sent me. I think she made this by hand. Uh, she sent me a two-part gift. One, it was a digital comic book. She sent me um, Swamp Thing, uh, like a graphic novel by Alan Moore, Volume 1. Great book. Amazing run on that character. Um, the other thing she sent me is this, if you guys can see it. It is a box, I think handmade or homemade, um, that has Swamp Thing's image on the front, as you can see. And it actually is like a lockbox. It opens up and there's like plants inside with actual pages of artwork, like on the back of it. Uh, this thing is wild. I am so in love with this. And the quote, I got to read you the quote. Um, you know, uh, it's Swamp Thing narrating. He talks in ellipses. He talks like a stoner, which is amazing. I've always loved that about the character. Um, he says, why did I ever leave this place? I want to walk here forever. I want to struggle with the alligators turning over and over in the mud. I want to be alive. I want to grow and rise up and meet the sun. Like, this is so cool. So Jomily, just amazing. Like I, I got really emotional when I looked at this. This book was huge for me as a kid. Uh, when I was a, in third grade, uh, I'll tell you this long, boring story real quick. Um, as I turn off my secondary camera here, um, when I was in third grade, uh, I, I was in Mississippi. I think we were. I was in school in Mississippi, and. Um, and they they were like trying to put me in like a they thought I was they test they wanted to test me for genius, um, and 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 I was like it was it was weird it was basically because I was just I was really a creative kid, um, so that was just new to them in Mississippi. <laughs> you know they were like, well he's really out there with his imagination. We might we think he maybe he's just super smart. It turns out it's not. I'm just a big I was just a big nerd. They, I wasn't when I tested me. I didn't pass for genius levels. I was just a kid with a big imagination. Uh, um, I think one of the teachers said to my mom like, "Oh, he's not he's not a genius. He's just not from Mississippi." <laughs> Which hey, I'm not saying that to put down Mississippi. That's just what I was told was said about it. Um, and. Uh, and what I did was I actually took um, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing was something I read that I probably shouldn't have read when I was eight years old. Or, yeah, eight years old. Um, I probably shouldn't have read it at that time, but I was. I was deeply into it. And I think they had done a Swamp Thing cartoon series around that time, um, like an animated series. And I was so into it. And I liked the Swamp Thing movie, too. So um, I what I did was I drew my own Swamp Thing comic book. Um, and... I put like a little slip in the back like you would a, a library book and I actually ch checked it out like a library book to every kid in class over the course of like a couple you know like a week or two because I would just check it out to them and then they'd give it back to me like an hour later after they read it and then I would check it out to somebody else and I would always do weird things like that but Swamp Thing that book meant a lot to me I really liked the character of Swamp Thing so when John Lee sent this to me and the graphic novel I like it like the eight year old in me kind of just came out for like an hour and just kind of did this little happy dance and just like really just inspected every inch of that little book that she sent me um which was awesome um oh echo emojis nice grifter says nice big imagination makes the world go round there you go dude i'll drink to that 
Um, but how are you guys doing? Have you guys opened any Christmas gifts yet? Anybody? Um, you know, everyone, sometimes they have that tradition uh, where you open one before Christmas. I always like to see if other people do that because um, that was something I grew up with was, uh, all right, you can open one on Christmas Eve. Uh, so I didn't know if any of you guys in the chat here had done that. By the way, thanks 10 people in here. Hello, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, happy Holidays. Uh, my name is Seek, and we're just here. I just had a weird, in like, I just wanted to play this game. I don't know what it is. I just had this weird bug today. I hate Billy Cohen. He's my least favorite Resident Evil character, but something in me was like, play it today. You got to play it. You got to play it tonight. Don't wait till tomorrow morning and do your stream tomorrow morning and open presents in. Excuse me, sir. Open them tonight. So, yeah, yes, that's why we're here. Thank you all for joining us. Yeah, let me know if you got anything for Christmas already. Grifter says, not doing Christmas this year, just staying home and being lazy. You know, that's the best Christmas gift. <laughs> Excuse me. I am a big fan of that. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, like I said, that's why we're streaming tonight instead of tomorrow morning. I actually pre-recorded, I think, two or three Christmas videos for YouTube. Um, and then this is my basically my Christmas video for Twitch. Um, but yeah, I post, I'm going to post them tomorrow morning. I'll probably post them tonight like past midnight after we do this stream depending on how tired i am um i'm hoping to sleep tonight i'm really hoping i get some solid sleep tonight but my goal is to just get sleep and sleep in if i have to um i set pee pads down so i'm like hey echo if you gotta go just go on the pee pads i will i'm gonna sleep right through it and then whenever i wake up tomorrow i'll walk you in the morning Are you okay? um but yeah, and then I'll probably um, call my mom tomorrow just to check in on her, tell her Merry Christmas. Uh, but in that, yeah. So um, the last things we have are things we gotta actually open. So I'll I'll pick one to open. It's only eight thirty right now, so I'm gonna actually get. We're gonna do this East Coast time. So I'll open one now, and then we'll save the others for past midnight. I mean past yeah past nine p.m. my time, past midnight East Coast time, and then we'll slowly open the rest. So, um, that guy? so yeah, we'll, we'll open one more to end like this. Cause when I edit these, I'll probably edit it down. Um, so this will be one episode and, and I'll, car. I'll edit, Listen, I'll edit, I'll stop it after this. Like I'll open one present on. and then we'll take a, like a little break and then I'll come back and we'll start each episode well, with I'm opening cool another present or, <clears> like being or we'll end each episode opening a present. I should All say, right. but you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. I don't need them, dude. I got an infinite magnum. If you find anything, give me a call. All right. Phantom says my daughter bought me Elf the movie PJ bottoms. Oh, dope. Oh, that's awesome. I love pajama pants. Uh, I own, I owned a lot more at one point. I think I'm down to like 15 pairs now, but I owned like th almost 30 at one point. Um, yeah, I'm a, uh, I love pajama pants. Um, I think we go this way. Yep. And I think Y switches characters. I think I saw that real briefly in the manual, so... Yep, that's what we're gonna do. What does he have? Leave! Oh, we can't leave up here. Dang it, I forgot. But I'm gonna try to have him fall down because I want to play as Rebecca. She's got all the, she's got the Magnum. Yeah, reconnect that cable. Um, Elf is so funny. I, yeah, that movie's hilarious. Uh, definitely. Yeah, that movie's super funny. Well, that's cool, man. How do the pajamas look? Like, what's on them? Let's see. So which one should I open? Uh, should I just grab the first one? This one is a 
These are from my friend um, Alex, uh, his mom actually, his mom and dad. Uh, they are, you know, Alex. He's been on the uh, Mad Scientist Party Hour podcast. Uh, that guy's like a brother to me, and uh, his his parents treat me like a son for sure. And they sent me, they surprised me. They sent me like a Fiji's like you know, sausage, cheese, and crackers tray that I got. Um, they also sent me some gifts here, and they actually got me this bookshelf like a month ago, uh, which is, I mean, they're just amazing people. Um, but they were like, they wanted to spoil me for Christmas for some reason. <laughs> so um, so I have some gifts from them. So I can, you know, we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six. Uh, that's a that's a lot of presents. Holy cow! I'm sure one or two of them's for Echo, so that's that's good too. Um, Phantom, dude, thank you for the 4.99 subscription, man. Awesome, dude, thank you, thank you. It's uh, it's Buddy making faces all over them on the pants. Oh, awesome! Oh, that sounds great. Um, all right, come on, Rebecca. Climb down the ladder. We gotta go get that key. Um, dude, and thank you, thank you, man, very much for the 499 subscription. You and Grifter, thank you guys so, so much. Um, I have to stock up on digital codes uh, for comic books again. I uh, we're gonna we'll bring that back in next year in 2018. Um, I've just been like some of the stuff because I, I every time I went to the comic book store. Um, uh, you know, the past like m you know two months or so, I the the books I was that are on my pull list to buy that don't come with digital codes. I've been just keeping them at the store and just buying stuff that had digital codes. So I when I went in the other day, I had like a pile like this full of comics, and I put some of them back. I was like, yeah, you know what? I don't have the money. I'm not going to be able to keep up on the series, the X-Men stuff. I'm like, I got to get rid of it. Got to put it back. It breaks my heart because I love X-Men, but I can't follow it right now. Um, I wanted the Optimus Prime book. I definitely didn't want to get rid of that because I really, really like that book. Um, and I want to make like a series of videos on that series because that's just, it's just a really cool book. Um, wait. Does the key open this up? No. Oh, the thing pulls that open. Okay, that's right. Um, so I basically, when I picked up my stack of comics the other day, I think one of the issues had a digital code in it. I was like, yep, this is what happens when I put all the stuff I want on hold and keep it on hold. <laughs> so um, I will definitely stock up again uh, for 2018 so we can give some stuff out to you guys. Don't stress over codes. Well, I'm not stressing over it. Just, you know thought I'd bring it up and point it out. Um, all right, real quick, just so we can end this episode. Um, oh, I hate my camera sometimes. I hate my phone. Oh no. Oh shoot. Everything's fallen. All right. Sorry. This, uh, this phone is no bueno sometimes. Well, it's not the phone. It's the holster, actually. Um, all right. Let's see what we got here. Um, to seek. So we got this little... Let me turn this camera on. Oh, man. Now it's fallen over. Okay. Uh, what up, dude? Merry Christmas. Joe after work in the house. What up, Joe? How are you, dude? Merry Christmas. Big shout out to Joe after work. Another brother of mine. How are you, sir? Uh, yeah, don't worry, because I'm here for your content, not codes. Oh, I know you guys are. That's very nice of you to say. I know that. But, you know, if I have extra stuff, I like to give it to you guys for for um, for the support. So, uh, but, but no problem. Joe, how are you, man? Good to see you, Grifter. Uh, so let's open this so we can end this episode, this first episode. Um, all right. What do we got? Oh, <laughs> look at that. Holy cow. Uh, it's not going to work now. We'll have to get another c uh, controller at some point. Uh, but it's a, a play and charge kit. Because uh, remember, I was I think I had told uh, Alex, or uh, maybe he saw it from watching the stream. I had talked about how the controller 
doesn't hold a charge anymore and that I need a new plug and play charge kit um, so that the controller now, unfortunately the controller went bad uh, and Grifter was able to buy us a new controller. So this I will save because um, this is gonna come in handy. I was thinking about getting a second controller at some point down the road anyway, because um, I when we when I played with, like when I had Kevin on the stream, I really wanted to fight him in, um, in uh, whatchamacallit, in uh, Injustice 2, and I couldn't because we only had the one controller. So I will um, I will save this. I will use that for sure. So Alex and uh, your family, thank you so much for the plug and play. I will definitely use it. It won't be anytime soon, but I promise I'm going to save it because at some point down the road, I'm going to get a secondary controller so we can have more uh, guests on the stream, or at least if I do have a guest, um, we could play a game together and not you know have one of us play and the other one watch. 